Folks, Patrick Penry here, YouTubers, listen up. Now there is a reason, I have my reasons I'm so suspicious about the whole Fukushima Unit 4 dealio that's being shouted all over like, oh my god, oh my god, we're all about to die. Originally, the first piece of damage mitigation that Natural News put out where they mentioned me, they had to, of course, at the time, but like I'm saying, at the bottom they did quote me, but the second and first part of the article, and the first part was, it was about something else. The first part was about number four is about to collapse. Oh my God, oh my God, we're all about to die. Okay, now there's been another round of this number four sinking been raised, and I say because when you look back at, you know, when I put pressure on them to actually, you know, either write about this or let me keep pointing a finger at you and saying you won't write about it, so they did write about it. Carefully, they put mine at the very bottom of the article. I got a couple videos on this. You can really visually see how small the FOIA document section was. And then they distracted by saying, number four sinking, number four sinking. Well, that was back on May 11th of 2012. Time has elapsed, and now there's, again, a cry is being raised about Fukushima Unit 4. But also a cry is now being raised in independent sources about the NRC Freedom of Information documents and the contents of those documents and, and the effects that should be having on this election cycle. Okay, It's starting to leak out. So is this a red herring? Well, I'm very suspicious because, number one, if Unit 4 collapses, there's nothing we can do about it anyway. There is no, We can prepare. We can get water, maybe potassium iodine, store some food, maybe that sort of thing. But other than that, there's nothing we can do. We can do something about the NRC FOIA documents, and that's push Eric Holder to issue indictments and start putting people in jail, right? So whilst I can prove what I'm saying in the FOIA documents, this is just another possibly a red herring that's a, it's a bit of distraction, right? While I'm pointing out everything they've done and I've got proof of it in the Freedom of Information documents, they're saying, no, 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 look over here. Unit 4 is about to collapse. We're all going to die. Don't worry about that. We're all going to die. Okay, I hope you understand how these little memes work and how they project these things, these realities, sub-realities, artificial realities, onto the population. Now, is Unit 4 going to collapse? Maybe it's possible. You know, the whole thing over there is in a bad shape. But the fact of the matter is, right now there's other things going on we can prove. I suspect this is a red herring. Let's have a look at informable. Now, quickly, here's back to e, &E News. Sorry. Gunderson's saying this again, too. But again, I point out Gunderson is pro-nuclear. He won't go into detail on the FOIA documents. He will mention them in passing, but he won't talk about the, you know, thyroid doses of children in California and how they weren't going to release that to the public, all their modeling off Chernobyl, the talking points, the monitoring of um, the governor's meetings with governors, the meetings with the FEMA and DHS and White House, and then they won't talk about the huge grand conspiracy contained within. Why? Well, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Pretty obvious. You've seen my videos. You know what I'm talking about. So Gunderson, who I believe is controlled, my mom also believes she's the one that started explaining to me how he was controlled because I don't follow him that much. I don't follow any of these people because they don't talk about the NRC for you documents. I just haven't heard it. I really haven't. Now, Gunderson is alleging he's talked to the Ambassador Murata of Japan, but when the, if you read the NRC for you documents, I know he has, he knows that they're all liars and proven liars within the documents. In fact, everyone's a proven liar within those documents. Oh my gosh, it's incredible. Everyone's, a, all agencies are proven liars in their fact. So do you trust this guy even? If you ask the guy in Japan, maybe that's a red herring for them too. You know, maybe it's a distractionary thing, folks, and you have to begin to ask yourself that because when I go and look at my most trusted sources, and again, I don't trust anyone 100%, but others, some I trust more than others, Informable has nothing on Unit 4. I mean, if it's really about to collapse, if it's so dangerous, if it's sinking, if it's cracking, if we're all going to die, wouldn't it something in here within the last couple weeks on Unit 4? You know, last I read in Informable, they'd cleaned the debris away from Unit 4 and they had offloaded some unused fuel rods and they were saying by the end of 2013, they would begin to unload the spent fuel. So within a year, they're claiming anyway, and this is what Informable has posted a couple things on it, and they're very reliable. They've been on the FOIA document since February for sure that I'm certain of. So Informable, pretty clean source in my opinion, and they're not talking about it. Now let's go to another really good source, someone who's been under a lot of pressure from the Japanese government and probably from the government over here, and this is the Fukushima Diary. And this guy's revealed quite a bit, and he's been harassed, he's been interrogated, and he's paid the price for it over there. When you look through his blog, okay, at least what's recent, anything recent, there's no mention of Unit 4. There's no mention of the sinking, no mention of the cracking, uh, nothing here to give me reason and cause for alarm. So 
Now here's two sources I trust that won't say anything about it. Let's have a look at the Lando Calrissian of Alternative Media, Alexander Higgins. I really like the guy, man, and I just I can't say anything else about him except I, I think he talks about stuff that the Intel Hub won't talk about and Natural News won't talk about it and indeed Infowars won't talk about it. So uh, Higgins is a is a trusted source with things you can't find anywhere else. Let's look down here. I typed in Unit Four. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. Oh, Unit 4, collapsing. Unit 4, everybody dying. Where is it at? Where is it at? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're all going to die. We're gonna, oh, look at that ugly giant in the fall of Tana. My God. That guy is really ugly. Um, I'm just not seeing it, folks. So, it's a bit of a toss-up. Three sources say it's going to collapse. We're all going to die. And three ain't saying nothing about it. In fact, Informal says they're clearing it away. And within a year, they should be unloading uh, spent fuel pools. So, fuel rods out of the fuel pools. So, in any case... Don't get too scared. Don't let them get the fear into you because, in my opinion, this is a bit of fear mongering to distract from the NRC for you documents and the implications thereof that we've been, you know, infiltrated. All the alphabet agencies are controlled. That's proven in there, too. They're all liars, proven in there, too. Nuclear energy is total failure, proven in there, too. Obama had to have known about it. Certainly, the White House was in depth with meetings and had the lead, and DOE had the lead, and NRC was involved. And Jasco's gone now. He's left the NRC and he's off to other things. And Time is going to elapse, and are we going to hold anyone accountable, or did they get away with hiding? And this is my main thrust. The initial plume, the initial plume, the Mangano study has been updated. Sherman Mangano, it's over 20,000 now in that 14-week period after the arrival of the plume. And that's what they hid from us. Obama took off to South America during the week of the arrival of the plume with his family, took him down. I'm sure it's just a coincidence. It couldn't have been because of the plutonium or, or the uranium MOX fuel, the nanoparticulates that were undoubtedly floating across the Pacific jet stream straight to America. It couldn't have been that. I'm sure he was really down there for the best interests of the South Americans. If you look historically, we've done nothing but good stuff for them down there, haven't we? Okay, look, I'm just kidding, folks. You know that. In any case, I'm out of here. Don't let them scare you up on number four. There's nothing you can do about it anyway if it does collapse. What you can do, though, is write your congressman and start talking to people about the larger picture, and that includes the NRC FOIA document, something that Alex Jones has carefully avoided this whole summer long. And I rest my case on that. Patrick Penry over and out. Thanks for joining me, guys.